Well, my favorite character, I think it's Roy Freeman, the retired police detective. <coughs> and um, I don't know, probably because he's very honest. He's very honest. And he doesn't have any interest in searching this old case, you know. I mean, Peter Katz, the literary agent, he tries to find a good book, uh, as well as John Keller, the reporter, the former reporter, looking for a subject for a true crime book, trying to find, I mean, he has an interest in this. But Roy Freeman is looking for a personal redemption, I would say. There's nothing. He gets Alzheimer's, so he's gonna forget everything sooner or later. And there, there is something very, I think it's something sad, but at the same time very important in his quest in this, in this subject. No, I, I, I like it. I, I, li I like Ray Freeman. It's like, like, like a friend. Um, I didn't decide that. Uh, in <coughs> each book starts with an image, and I just follow that image. And uh, in this case, talking about uh, the book on mirrors, that image uh, was uh, a, a young guy, actually a student, a college student. He comes home from school and he finds in the kitchen the new tenant. So it was a, apparently a very dull image. I mean, it wasn't a body lying on the floor in a pool of blood or something. <laughs> apparently, but I, I knew that it is a story inside and I knew they are in Princeton, they are living somewhere near Byer Lane, you know. So the set things were something, even the characters, or maybe the plot, was something I, I, I didn't decide. The only things I decided, actually, are the structure <coughs> and uh, the style. Well, it wasn't a moment of illumination when walking down the street and I said to myself I should be a writer. And, uh, no. Uh, probably, I think I was nine or ten when um, I wrote my first short story and I left books. So my, my only problem was uh, when I would have the possibility to become a full time writer you know, becoming a full-time writer because, um, well, for a small market like uh, Romanian one, it's, it's a bit difficult to make a living for yourself only from writing. And, uh, but anyway, before I left uh, Romania and settled in Britain five years ago, uh, I have written 15 books fiction and non-fiction, historical fiction, mysteries, uh, economics, uh, psychology, history, anthropology, <laughs> and many other things. So uh, I was already 47 years old and I said, well, it's now or ever. So I threw my head <laughs> across <laughs> the creek and I said, uh, I have to, to try, I give it a try to become a full-time writer. Well, I really remember my first book, um, a big, with a, a big one, with for kids, mm -hmm. of course, with a yellow cover, and it was a Romanian fairy tale. I remember the title. I remember the moment I was in my bed <coughs> in um, evening, probably at eight o'clock or something like that, nine o'clock, you know. And uh, that that memory is very strong. It's very strong to me. I, I still remember the book, I still remember the cover, I still remember everything. I still remember the illustrations, which were very special for that kind of books. Well, I wouldn't do <laughs> <laughs> such a thing, no. I think that uh, um, we should respect some other memories, really. I mean, it's, it's your, you really own your past. I mean, you don't know much about the future you know, but your, your past, actually, it's only yours, and you should keep it, good or bad or something, it's, it's all yours. Well, I've um, been thinking about actu actually three books in the same vein, 
you know, about uh, memory, like Book of Mirrors, about identity, and about time, dealing with with a crime. I mean, but at the same time with these with these questions, talking about the Book of Echoes and the Book of Shadows. The others, well, we'll see. I mean, I have many other projects in my mind, and um, there is a time, you know, for each book. I mean, when you you cannot push that it's like a chemical reaction. You, you cannot push because the the final result will be different. Finally. <laughs>